Hey, what's up? Um, I just wanted to share a quick video, and this is covering a little bit of an email and then a response I got from one of my online clients. So stick with me, there's some really key points. Now, the big thing is we just had the 4th of July here in the States, and a lot of people tended to blow off their workout and ate like shit. They had a bender on beer, barbecue, whatever else. Typically what happens after we make a bad decision, you know, we mentally berate ourselves. We're like, oh shit, we fell off the wagon. How do we get back on track? And instead of thinking about the progress we've made and what the next step is, we think about how far away we are from our end goal, right? If we're at A, we think about how far we are from Z rather than having any focus on getting to B, C, D, and E and the necessary steps it takes to get to that final goal. So we're always looking for the, for the end. We're always looking for a PR in the gym. We're always looking to hit a goal weight or a goal body fat percentage, uh, more money in the bank account. You know, whatever the goal is, these problems or these solutions and thought processes really manifest beyond just training. But, you know, the problem with chasing these goals is it's almost like chasing a horizon endlessly, right? If you're always looking on horizon, it's always going to stay a step ahead of you. You'll never catch it. And at the end, we always say, why do I even bother? And then it starts that whole negative feedback loop again. Dan Sullivan has a process called reverse or has a process called the reverse gap in which instead of always looking towards a future goal, take a step back and have some self gratitude and look back at what we've already, already accomplished. So you need to reflect. So if you're looking back at what you've done in the gym, for example, um, you know, measure success from where you've been. Say if your end goal is to squat 405, but you started at 135 six months ago and you're already up to 225 you're making great progress. You know, you shouldn't consistently berate yourself over the lack of progress you haven't made yet when you've already made big strides. Really, it's a process of refra reframing your thoughts to be more gracious for the progress you've made. And in the end, this is going to help you build momentum and get you from A to B, which is going to get you eventually to X, Y, and Z as long as you continue taking the steps. So, you know, after I sent this message out, I got a reply from my client, Justin, and <clears throat> over the class or past month, he's you know, really ramped up his consistency. Um, his training has been on point. He's setting personal records. He's dropped some body fat. Um, but most importantly, he's locked in training, eating healthy, and tracking some of these different metrics as a habit. You know, he's building the habit so it's going to be something that stays with him for the long term rather than some quick fix. And I'm just going to read directly his reply. So I'm sorry if my eyes start moving around the screen a little bit, but. Um, he said, you know, I changed my thought process about working out from being something I must do out of fear over what I will become if I don't work out. Therefore, the fear of dying early, of not seeing my kids grow or not being satisfied or confident in my body no longer motivates me. Now it's being present, enjoying the moment and thinking about how training makes me feel both mentally and physically. He no longer worries about the fear of a lack of exercise and what that can manifest. Now, that's really powerful stuff. And it's not to say that, you know, there isn't some benefit in having fear for what happens if you don't train and eat healthy. However, being able to shift to a positive mindset and focus purely on the benefits and the joy that it brings you physically and mentally from working out and being present in the moment and how that builds positive momentum into long-term lifestyle change, like cannot be overstated enough. So if you have really two key takeaways that you can take from this video, you know, focus first on being present in the moment and maximizing the quality of everything that you're doing. You know, what's the next best decision you make? You know, I like to think about it as having a short memory. We always said that in sports, if you made a bad play, forget about it, whatever, make the next best play. That way you can get over, you know, the bad day that you had on the 4th of July or whatever other event came up and make the next positive step, go from A to B, getting you closer to Z. Beyond that, reflect, you know, how far have you came already at this point and give yourself, you know, a pat on the back on occasion, have some gratitude for what you've done. You know, these two things alone are huge mental shifts that can take you to new places you never thought possible in terms of your training. So, you know, if this video inspires you in any way, um, you know, it was crazy for me to read that message and the thoughts that were going through my head. Um, but like I said, if this inspires you in any way, you know, please feel free to like it, share it, put a little smiley face, whatever Facebook has going on these days. And, uh, and thanks. Bye.